Alright everybody, oh happy day. I hope you are doing phenomenally well today, alright? In this video, I'm going to share with you on why this technique, this sentence, does not work in telesales. I'm going to dive into why this technique does not work in telesales so that you don't cost yourself money, time, or certainty when you have leads trying to meet needs. So why does not this work? This one method why it is so flawed i'm gonna go into it in just a second but I, before i get going jasonfinalexpense.com i'm so blessed to partner with some of the most amazing agents on this planet together in my national agency to sell things like medicare and life insurance face to face and more importantly in the telespace all right so if you need help reach out i truly will help you in any way i can but i've seen this so many times in my career this one technique is horrible. It's atrocious. And this technique is something that a lot of folks will deploy. And this is a technique that really comes from a place of maybe uncertainty or a place that you need to feel validated a little bit because maybe you don't have high-end training, you don't have high-end skill set, you never went through a telemastery training system like what I do. All right, with the folks that I serve with, it's so much fun to do this together, okay, and working as a team, but a lot of times folks don't have this. You're an independent agent, you're not getting time and attention, you're given a piece of paper and saying, hope you make it, and this is where I see this happen all the time. Understand that your demographic, okay, this is why this does not work. You're talking to a sweet consumer, if they're 50 years old, they've been sold for 50 years of their life. You're probably not gonna, okay, approach them in a way that is like plain vanilla, okay? It is not good. Bring some sprinkles to the table. The technique that I want to talk about that does not work and why it doesn't work, it's a technique of going, oh, hi, Mrs. Smith. How is your day today? How is your day today? This happens. Oh, my word, I'm making fun of it, but it's horrid. The moment that you pick up the phone, you've got a little bit of the FOF, the feeling of failure, like, wow, I got to like, say something to make them feel like I care about them, right? And these sweet people have been sold their whole life. Stop doing this. Stop doing this. People can smell you a mile away. Hi, Jason. How are you today? They know you don't honestly care about how they're doing today. You really, if you look in a mirror, you know you don't really care about how they're doing today if you really condense it down, right? So it comes across as lacking genuineness, it comes across as like, okay, you're asking me how my day is, and I don't even know you, what are you selling? What happens is these sweet people have been sold their entire lives, okay? You're not gonna be able to shine them on. That technique is a flawed technique. This just doesn't work effectively. You're gonna get hung up on more times than you know. You're gonna get, okay, told, go somewhere that isn't heaven. It's gonna happen, so don't use this technique. When you first pick up the phone, that's a flawed method, all right? Oh, hi, how are you doing today, Sally? They know you don't care. You don't have a relationship with them. So it comes across like, like fingers on a chalkboard on the other end of the phone. But if they go, oh, I'm great, you're like, oh, wow, I've made a buddy. <laughs> that's not how telesales is. Understand, people, okay, consumers, they don't buy from friends. They just don't. They buy from friendly professionals. So when you're an insurance agent, you want to remove, hi, how are you doing today from your vocabulary because it's not genuine. Everybody knows it. They smell it a mile away. And what happens is you put a fence up that didn't have to exist because that is a flawed method. So do not ever use that. <laughs> okay, remove it. All right, be a friendly professional, but stop trying to play the little friend card when you first said howdy to them. It'll hurt you, it'll hurt you, it'll hurt you. The moment you said that, all these flags are popping up on their radar going, oh, who is this person? Why do they care? They don't know me, they don't know anything about me, and you're asking me how I'm doing today? Really? I don't think so. So if you're asking questions like, how are you today? Be careful, okay? Everybody's heard that line. Everybody's heard that line of questioning. Don't use it. So you've got to have a good mindset so you don't ask that question because you want to feel good about yourself. You want to have the right motives behind why you're asking any form of questioning in your process. Motives are important. You need to know what is behind the curtain, why you're saying certain things. Are you trying to help guide them? 
okay, down the path to your solution, that's great, all right? Be the best professional they've ever talked to, but the moment you just flip a switch and act like you're pulling the friend card, let me tell you, you love folks in the telesales space that will talk to you for an hour or two, and then you start talking business, and they go, oh, hey, Mary, you're really nice. Oh, I love talking with you. You want to talk business now? Oh, I got to go, but you're a sweetie. Have a great day. Click, and you're like, what? You're going to lose your mind, <laughs> okay? Mindset is important your motives are important and these sweet consumers they know they can smell your motives a mile away just like if you're a face-to-face -face insurance agent or a telespace insurance agent they can okay smell your motives a mile away too so make sure you're coming at it from a good place where you are motivated to serve not just sell you're there to serve them meet their needs you got to uncover what's going on that they want you to help them fix, all right? You got to help them with their problems and then, more importantly, help them find a professional solution to solve it. It's not that hard, but you got to have good methods. This is why power scripts are so important. You need a true power script to really get you on the right path to help the client go the direction that they want to go in the first place. If you're just calling people up and asking like, oh, hi, Mary, how are you doing today? They're going, what do you want? What are you trying to sell? You immediately put up this barricade that did not, believe me, did not have to be placed in between you and your client. High-end techniques will lead you to a high-end result. They just will. You've got to have the right methods in place, but you've got to have a right mindset before you focus on your motives and then focus on the methods and never veer off course as much as you can. Everybody's human, right? But you got to stay on the right path if you want to get to the right place. So when you've done this and you've made your first sale, my goodness, the moment that you've made your first sale, you've got to have a heavy momentum. So this is like the four M's, okay? You've got to have big-time mindset, big-time good motivation, the right motives, good methods, good momentum. Keep doing more of what works and do less of what doesn't. So quit asking people, okay, how are you doing today? <laughs> don't do it. It's not good. Nobody cares. They know you don't really care. Now, later on in the conversation, if you've built a relationship and you want to ask, how are y'all doing today? Then that's different because it comes across as genuine. But don't do this in the beginning of your scripting. It's a flawed method. It'll get you hurt in a hurry. And you'll wonder why, okay, everybody's kicking tires and nobody's buying cars. You have to focus on the opportunity where you're going. Quit focusing on using bad word patterns to create obstacles for yourself. The rock did not have to be in front of you, okay? And it's not a small rock either when you're asking that flawed method. You're placing a big rock in front of you that did not have to exist. Use high-end, use high-end training, use high-end scripting to overcome what you thought was an obstacle, but no, it was just a hologram, poof. It was nothing, you walked right through it. Focus forward, focus on the right methodology, the right mindsets, the right trainings. Invest into yourself so that you don't have to learn the hard way. So many folks get hurt because they're trying to learn the hard way. The road has been <laughs> made for you. People have done this time-tested and noble profession for such a long time, decades and decades and decades and decades before all of us were probably even born, for goodness sakes. All right, this is a time-tested profession serving some of the most amazing Americans and the most amazing people, for that matter, on the planet. They need you. They need you to use high-end mindset, high-end motives, high-end methods to get the momentum and make a great living so that you can stick and stay and stay in the business of helping others. No longer are you just working on selling. You're working on serving them with the right solution, all right? You're not going to put a size 6, okay, shoe on a size 10 foot. You're working on custom solutions. You're working on dialing it in, smiling it in, and bringing what they need to the table, putting that on beautifully, making the product fit what they need, needs-based, all right, service, needs-based Selling is the end game because you did the right thing for them. 
And when you focus on doing the right thing for them, the consumer, you know what's going to happen? You're going to have the right thing for you and your business because everything is proper. You've got your placement. You're ready to now be a producer in this space because you're putting the client's needs above everything. They're everything. We are just their hands and feet, guiding them, serving them, helping them, and you'll make more sales as a result. I hope this helps you. I hope this video gives you some perspective, but please get rid of that. If you're using that in the beginning of your okay sales pitch, sales spiel, oh, hi, how are you doing today? Please make me feel good because I'm nervous on the phone. Not making fun of you if you're doing that, but let me tell you, it comes across in a bad way to your consumer. You're putting up rocks and barricades that don't need to be there. Remove the barriers. Focus on the opportunity. Quit putting obstacles in front of you. Remove that from your vocabulary. You'll be a better agent. If you need help, reach out. I appreciate you. Hope you have an amazing day. Stick and stay in the industry. Keep doing the good work. These great people need you. Have a good one, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.